Alright guys, tutorial today. I have a, this is what they call a shark garment steamer. Uh, I got this at Goodwill for $9. It does work fine. You can see the steam coming out of it right here. Do not touch it. It burned me a little while ago. I mean, it burned me good. So be careful on your garment steamers. This has a stand. Let me show it to you. Let me go down here. Just, let me look at it real quick. It has a stand. It's on a stand and everything. It has an arm. Telescope's up, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this a lot closer so you can see me working on this, okay? This is the camera's about basically about a two and a half feet from me, okay? And all you're going to do is basically you hang your garment like this. It's got a garment hanger, okay? Let me make sure I can see what I'm doing. It's got a garment hanger right here, okay? I'm going to show you guys how to do this real quick, okay? Uh, you can see all the wrinkles in the front of the shirt, okay? You're going to grab your garment thing here. You can turn your machine anyway. All you're going to do is basically just a quick swipe, okay? Right here is just building up because I've had it on there for a little while, but you want to keep it kind of at an angle, like kind of like down like this at an angle. Just a real quick, you know, you'll have to figure out how to, this is still kind of new to me, so I'm basically just kind of doing this real fast. But the steam coming out of this thing, I mean, it will burn you good, guys, so be careful. Um, but like, see, when you're doing your shirts, guys, when you're, um, when you're doing your shirts, all you're going to need on the mannequin is the front, and the front, the cuff, and the arms, okay? So let me scoot this back, and you can guys watch me work, okay? Uh, there we go, guys. All righty. So basically, like that's already done. Basically, you're just going to come over here real quick. You see all the wrinkles going out of it? You don't want to set this on the shirt, otherwise it'll leave water, okay? Basically, you're barely just gliding on top because the, the stuff coming out of here is super hot. Tons of steam, okay? This is probably one of the best finds I've got at Goodwill in quite a while, okay? Um, and then basically on your sleeve, you know, on your French cuffs. Like I said, you're basically just looking for, for presentation on your mannequin. But basically, look at, see this side is done, and look at the other side still, okay? This side is still all wrinkly and stuff. This side is completely done in about, 50, about 25 seconds, okay? And basically, you want to do like up here, and then up here. Just a real quick, you're not, you're not drag, you're not sticking it on there. You're basically just going real close with it, okay? If you get a little water there, that's fine. You know, see how I'm doing it? I'm just grabbing it real slow and kind of keeping it kind of taut. You know, kind of, I'm oh, sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. It's from my bed. Uh, there you go. So basically what I'm doing is keeping it kind of taut, you know? Just dragging this along real short and real quick, okay? Most people aren't even going to do this, but you'll be able to see the difference here quickly. Okay, I'm going to show you a shirt that's done and a shirt that's, you know, I'm going to do half a shirt and then I'm going to leave the other half undone, okay? Same thing with the arms, just come along with your arms. Uh, but the thing is, you're going to have to wear like a tank top or something because <laughs> you're going to sweat, I promise me. I mean, I promise you you're going to sweat a little bit because the steam coming out of here is super high steam, so it's going to heat up whatever room you're in, okay? So I can feel it coming off there already. But basically, you know, uh, you're looking for something like that on your clothing. Pocket's going to be like that, just due to the fact that it's a pocket. But, but now you can see how, how clean the, clean that looks, okay? Now when you want to just grab another shirt, you hang that back up there. Okay, I'm going to show you another shirt. Let me uh, talk to you again real quick. I'm going to show you a really bad shirt, okay? This is one yesterday that I showed you on the thing. It's a... Uh, Robert Talbot, you can see it's all wrinkled, okay? Completely wrinkled, okay? I'm gonna do half the shirt and I'm gonna show you the other half, okay? Let me back it up for you again. That way you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you can see now this shirt is really wrinkled, okay? Well, I'm only gonna do this half, okay? And I'm gonna leave the other half and let you look at it, okay? Grab your thing again. You were just doing a real quick you know, really quick swipe, okay? Sometimes on the collars, if they're really wrinkled, you may have to iron those, but just gonna come down real quick, real fast. You can probably do a bunch of these pretty quick. This is probably the worst shirt I've got that's wrinkle-wise. This is the one yesterday that I showed you that was in a kind of like a ball. Maybe 
basically yeah. just coming down, okay? Arms here again. And be careful guys, like I said, this thing is hot. No matter what steamer you get, you know, they're all going to do the same thing. The little handheld ones will do the same thing as this big one here, but you can't beat $6 or whatever I paid for this at Google. You know, some of these shirts, the higher end shirts, I'll probably end up pressing those anyway just to get more presentation out of them. But um, you can see here, I, wanted, I spent maybe a minute or two. Okay, now look at that. This side's done. This side is still all wrinkly. You see how it's all wrinkled and everything? You can see the steam coming off this thing right here. See all that steam? Puppy's hot, okay? But look at it, wrinkled, non-wrinkled, okay? And uh, basically when I'm doing a, this shirt I probably would iron myself because it was so bad. But I'm gonna show you most of the shirts I get are like this, you know, just basic Brooks Brothers. It's been, you know, wrinkled a little bit. This is a basic Brooks Brother. You can see it's pretty much still pressed from whoever had it before. It's still got a press in it. So what you want to do is basically just, you just basically want to get some of the wrinkles out, okay? So basically just run it across real quick. You'll see the wrinkles will come out right in front of your eyes, guys. And there may be a way to do it where, you know, you have to hold the shirt and it kind of you know, moves on you a little bit. So I'm going to watch some videos to make sure I, I, any other secret tricks or anything, but... Really, there's not really to this. The steam coming out of here, like I said, is so hot that it's uh. And then this little cover thing, you just wash that in a washing machine. But you can see how fast it goes. If you guys don't like ironing, you can see. Just run this along there. You see how I just I'm just gliding along the machine here. Okay, right, gliding right along. Okay. You see it that right there, and then basically on the arms, I'm right-handed, so I have to come over here and kind of do this, reverse it like this, so, so I'm kind of right-handed over it. But like I said, when, when you're on a mannequin, you're not going to care about the back. All you're going to do is care about the front, so just run this. You're just basically very lightly gliding this on the cloth, okay? Okay. But you can see, after about a minute, look at that. Search basically immaculate you know look at that I mean look at that guys shirt is awesome I mean look at that beautiful shirt now okay okay I'll do one more on this video but look at that look at look at that look at that in there you can't even see one wrinkle same thing on this side there's one little one right there all gone now put your thing back up on a hanger okay look at that guys Real nice shirt. Backside has still got the wrinkles in it. You can see the backside still got wrinkles in it. Okay. I'm gonna do one more. Um, we'll do a quick Tommy. Okay. This Tommy's just been laying down. It's got some wrinkles in it. Okay. Same thing again. Gonna do a quick thing. I haven't logged these yet. That's like on the price tag you're telling on it. But basically, just get the wrinkles out. Okay. What you want to do is get all that out. Just rub it along. The, you guys can see me on the video. Yeah. Okay. Basically, there's one right here with the logos. Look at that. Just, it's like basically just running. <laughs> it's like running a flat board over it and completely flat. I mean, if I had this 20 years ago, it, I would have been all right. Yeah. Same thing with your sleeve. You got a little bit of wrinkles right here. Just like that. See, how I'm doing just like that. Like I said, you want to just clean, good pressing. Sometimes if the collar's jacked up, I'll, I'll just go ahead and iron it, iron the collars. Uh, but usually I probably won't even do that. People are going to buy the brand and the color. They're not going to really, if it's got one little wrinkle on the collar. But um, this is a really good Tommy shirt right here, guys. You know, just basically you can see the steam coming out. You can see all the steam coming out. You see it all? The puppy's hot. I got my boom lights on, so it's got like 500 watts by all the light on me makes me sweat because I've sent so much heat from the lights. But look at that, guys. Okay. Another shirt done real fast, okay? Look at that. Took me about a minute, okay? That thing is ready to put on the mannequin. Take your pictures and go. 
Let me grab one here. Um, let's grab one at a. This is a. This is an Orvis shirt. Okay. This is an Orvis. It's a good brand. If you guys ever see it, it's called Orvis. I'm oh, sorry, guys. E O R V I S. Okay. This one is really wrinkled. Okay. This is a different fabric. This is a 100% cotton. Same thing, but look at look at all the wrinkles. Okay. And so the shirt looks terrible. Okay, we're gonna try it and see what happens. Okay. Basically, here again. Look at that, guys. Just boom. Sometimes there's got to be a way to maybe hold it, hold the shirt a little bit better. There's no, there's no clips on the back. I don't think. Yeah, I don't care. But you can see all I'm doing is rubbing it like that. Okay. Real quick, real easy. You can rub it any way you want to. See, I noticed this right here has got a stain on it right here, like a yellow, yellow stain on the cuff. I'm about to treat it with water or just somehow see if I can get the stain out of there. But so I noticed that stain just now. I didn't see it before. So, but you can see um, how I'm just basically just gliding this on the thing right here. Okay, all the way down. Same thing here. Okay. This shirt kind of does not going to be completely done because it's uh it's the way the fabric is. Okay, this fabric is a little bit different than what you normally would see. Okay, sorry guys, I'm way over here on the side here. Let me let me come over a little bit. Okay, there you go. This fabric is a little different, so but you can see what I'm doing. This is more like a rugged outdoorsy shirt. This is not going to be like a, a press dress shirt at all. So. But you can see how I'm doing. Bucky, you can see how it, yeah, this is going to be more like the best it's going to look because that's just the way the fabric is on this shirt. You can kind of rub this up and down like this on the, on the arm thing, okay? But you now look at it, guys, you know? Look at that. You know? Really good looking, guys. Look at that. It's all completely unwrinkled. Um, like I said, you can do the same thing here. See, even me holding it right here, it's almost burning my hand, okay? Just glide it down, okay? There you go, guys. It's an order shirt right there. Good. This shirt will go good. It's an outdoor with three pocket right here, a little baby pocket there. It's called an Orvis, okay? I just thought I'd show you that, guys. That's me. Um, let me back up a little bit for you. All right, that is me ironing like four shirts in a couple minutes, okay? With the steamer, steam out, steaming, okay. You can see how good it looks right now. This is annoying. so basically what I do is I put it on the mannequin, take my pictures, and you're good to go. So what do you do? Probably want to do is you probably want to spend maybe two hours or an hour and a half and just go ahead and steam all your shirts that you're gonna do, okay? Let me move my light out of the way. Go ahead and steam all your shirts that you're gonna do, okay? And that way you'll have them all done and ready to go, okay? Like I said, all these are ready to go. This Tommy's here, you know, it's ready to go. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, log, I'm going to log them all in my Excel spreadsheet first. The style, the name, the style, the brand, place I bought it from, uh, the price, and the date I list it, okay? Not really the day I buy it, but the day I list it, okay? And then how long it takes to sell and what price I sold it for, okay? Uh, I, bought, I went to the thrift store today and bought a bunch more shirts and shoes again today. So uh, the mannequin is any day, hopefully. So i uh, waiting on that. So... Uh, Real quick thing on how to use a Genie, it's called a Genie Fabric Steamer, Garment Steamer, okay? And I can say I got this steamer at a Goodwill for $6, yeah, $6, $7. Yeah, $6. So, uh, best of $6 I've ever spent, guys. I uh, hope you guys like this. Um, that's about all I got for the Garment Steamer, okay?